Hello all, welcome back to Uncommon Geeks. My name is Basant. I hope you all know me. In case if you're someone who don't know, I'm a content creator. I help people to clear the interview. And this is a mock series of uh, it's it's a series of mock interviews that I'm doing, as all of you are aware. Today with me I have Gaurav. So more about Gaurav, you, you'll hear from Gaurav only. We'll be doing a DSA per interview in this particular mock interview. Um, and like um, uh, like my old videos, the whatever the question that I'll be asking to Gaurav, will I'll also put that in the description section. You can also solve consider like you attending this mock interview itself. Okay, Gaurav, can we start with your introduction? Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, myself, Gaurav Kumar Mishra. I'm currently pursuing my Bachelor of Technology in Computer Science and Engineering. From BIT Jhansi. Yes, sir. Talking about my uh, technical skills, um, I have good command on C, C plus plus, data structure algorithm, and in front end, in front end technology, I have also good command on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, JS. And in back end, I have good command on PHP. Apart from that, uh, talking about my internship experience, uh, I had also worked in coding in charge as a teaching assistant. After that, I worked in programming parts as a problem setter. And currently, I am working as a software engineer intern in Mindo Fleet. And apart from the, that, I am also involved in extra curriculum activities like sports, sports council, and etc. And football is my favorite game. And uh, I am also a district level football player. So uh, that's all from my side. Wonderful. So, Gaurav, just before we start with the actual interview process, a lot of freshers reach out to me where they ask, like, uh, wasn't this getting really hard to find an internship? So, as you are able to get internship somewhere, can you just tell in whatever that you can disclose what are the best ways to get internship? Since you know more than me, as you are in that particular path now. So actually, sir, uh, most of the students uh, in in the starting phase of their college, they are trying to find the internship without uh, going to up 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 up, up uh, uh, without going to uh, brush up their skills. Correct. They uh, start in the starting phase, they are trying for internship. First of all, they go through the all the core subjects like C, C plus, or choose any programming language and do the data structure algorithm and increase their problem solving skills. And apart from that, they choose any uh, any technologies like web or app according to their uh, according to their interest. So after that, when they will uh, give the master's, so after that they will contact to HR or any anywhere or any seniors and try to find the internship. Then I sure they will find the internship and um, much it. much easier than. Got it. You I suggest yeah. first upskill yourself and don't directly jump into an opportunity. Even when you get an opportunity, probably you may not be able to aspire it as you don't have the skills. Correct? Sure. So, Gaurav, let us start with the now the DSA and the problem solving. Like uh, I said in the beginning. Okay. I'll have I'll have only one question. This is a common question that I ask everyone before I start DSA. People, audience who are watching also are aware of it. Tell me what is time complexity, Gaurav, in general. Okay. Okay, so time complexity is a, a criteria to judge any algorithm. So how how is an algorithm is good or bad uh, uh, in 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 the in in term of the number of operations? Uh, Correct. So time complexity generally says how is the algorithm is good or bad in 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 term of time. Got it. So you, you what is that? It is a time that algorithm taking or what is it? What is the time complexity? Good or bad part is fine, but that is not that doesn't define time complexity. Correct. What do you think? I, I'm not looking at a bookish definition. Anything that you comfortable saying? What do you think is the the definition of a uh, time complexity? Okay, by definition of time complexity, actually, uh, uh, I'm I'm thinking in the term of operations. So in, in any programming languages, so everything is going in Correct. in form of operations. So it's 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 a, a total number of operations in a particular time measure. That that is the time complexity. I think. Sure. Got it. Not, not. Uh, it's not wrong, uh, uh, Karo. Uh, we, you are very close. Okay. Definitely, you can check little once again. Okay. For little more details, audience also can check it. Okay. So now I'm sharing the question with you. As usual, I'm sharing a lead code link with you, Gaurav. Okay. I would suggest open a fresh browser with only one tab and open this link. And audience, whoever is watching, uh, the link is in the description section. Please go ahead and open the link. Uh, this question has to be solved by 20 to 25 minutes. Where first five to 10 minutes, me and Gaurav will discuss the approach and other things. So, if you are someone who is also aspiring for a DSA interviews, please open the question, read the question, and uh, see if whatever the approach that Gaurav and I would discuss later is matching with your approach. Okay, this is a medium question, but not so difficult. Actually, it's, I can say easy to medium question. Yeah, can you share Gaurav your screen? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yes, sir, sure. I think, sir, I have already tried this question. Okay, it's okay. Share the screen, and we'll see if any other question okay. that I can give you. 
it's again a very common i um, mean popular question okay so what is the last thing I, that you have solved number 13 may have solved okay. you remember every every okay so the code itself is here right so let me try to share another question okay which is slightly harder but you might have also solved it please open this i think i have not solved this question no. it's an interesting problem um, i can say okay. proper medium difficulty problem okay so audience also try to solve this only other one also if you wish you can solve this also you can solve yeah agar it will go like this you read the question understand the question ask me if you have any doubts okay regarding the question then you tell me the approach we discuss the approach if you both are fine with the approach then you get started with the coding okay okay sir okay overall okay. this entire process we have a 25 minutes okay now it's 9:5 okay. the overall time for the completion of the interview is 9:30 okay discussion okay. coding and then again uh, discussing the solution everything yeah. okay i got it i got it so actually the problem is trying to say that the, in that uh, if we have a, a, a substring of size k and all the characters are equal then we will remove that character and we will concatenate the left part and right part and we'll uh, proceed this uh, proceed this uh, uh, method uh, until uh, there is no uh, k sub uh, there is no substring of size k uh, uh, which all the characters are equal can i look at example 3 once yeah. Okay, example three is not different. Example two, you understood, correct? Yeah, yeah, yes. Sir. Okay, then take one or two minutes, Garo. Okay, I'm with an approach. Okay, okay, sir. So, and uh, the brute force, the brute force logic, uh, or the or the brute force, the brute force approach, I'm getting here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to find uh, all the. Uh, I'm trying to find find all the substring of size k, and if all the characters uh, of that. substring are equal and then we will uh, we'll uh, remove it by uh, taking uh, taking the uh, by, by adding the strings from left part to right part suppose uh, suppose we are getting a k size uh, we are getting a substring of size k so starting index of that substring is i and the ending is index is i plus k so uh, we will we will add uh, all the strings from 0 to i minus 1 and i plus i plus k plus 1 to n minus 1 and we'll add it and we'll continue this uh, uh, this I approach know. so brute force problem you know already know with respect to yeah. example 2 correct see until the first iteration <laughs> is done like you you cannot form just the <laughs> substrings of character 3 k k 3 in second example correct yeah. if if you form all substrings also still yeah. you will not be able to solve this correct the reason being only after you remove the first iteration then only the second kind of second level will come where you are seeing d d b b b a correct only if you in first set of duplicates a second set of duplicates will populate correct so substring approach even with brute force also will not work correct okay let me check let me check i think sir it's wrong sir uh, for the uh, can we explain for uh, test case uh, for the test case thing or example 3 yeah so you, your approach for example 3 will work why because you can form all substrings of character 2 correct and wherever okay. there is a duplicate you will remove it correct whichever is unique you will keep it mm. correct example 2 how it will work okay for example 2 uh, suppose k is k is 3 mm. so uh, we find e e e okay so we will remove it so you are saying you will, you kind of find all possible substrings correct you don't know which which three would occur but you will kind of do all possible substrings of three character correct yeah okay yes, so in yes, that sir. case e will definitely you will be able to find out okay but you will not be able to find out uh, the ccc because ccc is somewhere na they are not adjacent somewhere in middle still you think that is also you will be able to form no ccc you will be able to form uh, yes sir the second after you remove it that bbb yeah yeah sir actually first of all i remove ee -E and add the string then i get dd uh, d, d how you will do that like you your approach is like you will have to find all substrings first right Yes, sir. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm finding uh, all, all substring of size k, one huh. by one. Okay, one and by I, one. I, I'll find. Okay. Yeah. When I get e, I, I add d and uh, d b b c c c d b a a. Mm. Now I get d b d d b b c c d d a a. Now I remove c c. Then I get d d b b b d a a. Now I remove b b b and I will get d d d a a. now i remove d d d and we get a got it so basically now 
complexity would be one for loop that is running outside for the length correct so right. another inside for loop for finding the substring and you need to also maintain a map to make sure you are not populating the substring once again correct yeah yeah, yeah. like if mm -hmm. make sure that is already taken care correct so for that that is additional space and then substring mm -hmm. What is the complexity that you think uh, substring generation will produce? So according to me, uh, uh, if there is only a lower case English English letter, mm -hmm. so that means there is A to Z. So total of hash map takes an uh, order of twenty six means that is order of one size uh, in the in the space space term. And apart from this, uh, we we are, uh, for a, a, a outer loop of size and uh, equals to the length of the string I am iterating and in, and uh, and in. In a loop, uh, I am I am iterating for n minus k time because uh, if I am if I am I will I try to find the all the substrings of size k, then I have to iterate for n minus k time. So mm -hmm. it means it's n into n minus k. It's it's n square uh, k. Uh, it's board uh, yes order n square. N square k. N square. Yes. And space complexity also involved like I mentioned, the substring you need to maintain, na? like whether it's already done or not. So little bit of additional yeah. space also correct. Okay, fine. This approach is. Please, you're saying something. Yes, sir, yes, Space is not involved in what you are saying, or yes, sir. Let me think about this space. Uh, uh... It's okay. No, I would suggest. Uh, let's yes. now. It is nine thirteen. Uh, as per our timing, think two more minutes at least to come up with an optimal approach than this. Okay. If by nine fifteen, if you are not able to come up with any better approach, we'll see it started with this only. Okay. Okay, uh, sir. I think uh, I can solve it. Uh, through uh, a, a, I am I can solve through it has map and window sliding as well. Mm -hmm. right okay, this. tell me how do you slide the window? Sir, actually, sir, uh, first of all, uh, I will take the uh, a window of size k, mm. and and I will uh, and take say and take say has map or a a array of twenty six size that contains the counts of the uh, uh, the uh, lower case. Uh, letter in that from zero to twenty six to twenty five, mm -hmm. the a, a a tends to index zero, b tends to index one. That's that's kind of thing that is matching. So apart, uh, I will take uh, count of uh, all the uh, all the uh, all the uh, count of all the uh, elements per, till i till i index i. And apart from this, I slide the window and found that uh, is uh, is the size of windows lies in uh, only one uh, only one. Uh, uh, index that means the size of window is equals to the uh, any elements uh, any elements uh, value at any elements that means that that element is only present in that window then i will remove it and i will take uh, take um, i will add that and that uh, the right and left part and by this i will move i think and and, and last uh, i and, and and at last uh, at uh, those elements which are in uh, which are in, which are in uh, which are in uh, uh, map Through this, through that, I can calculate answer. I think. Got it. So you you are comfortable with our approach? You will be able to write a code for this. Actually, I it takes some more times to code it because I'm not not sure how in in last how to calculate answer from that. Got so it. So what about the first approach? You said the brute force one. You'll be able to write. Yeah, yeah, I can write. Actually... Get started, Garo. You have fifteen minutes till time okay. till nine thirty. Okay, get started. <laughs> stop obviously there is a lot of research that has gone into making this video so please like the video and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon if you're not already done so and add a comment whatever you felt so far the reason for that i always say i have only motto of i help want to help to candidate to clear their interview so if more likes more comments video becomes visible for a lot whenever it is visible for a lot uh, there is a high chance i get more subscribers and the followers definitely the there is a high chance i would able to reach my cause very soon okay so please like and comment about the video before watching the further okay so this Now. is you are doing a substring approach or the sliding window garo i think uh, i am uh, i am i am replacing the i am replacing that uh, 
the uh, substring of size k via sl- sliding sliding window sure the sliding window and substring both sure continue yeah Baron, mm-hmm. let's do one thing, okay? As the time is up, we will stop it for now. Okay. I'll pass on my feedback, and maybe after this interview, we'll we'll spend some more time, okay? From the record point of view, let us try to end it now, okay? Can you stop sharing? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, Gaurav was close with approach and the solution. In case any of the viewers who are watching the video, if you are able to solve the problem by this particular time, it's good. Please paste the link in the description. Me and Gaurav, both of us will check and update you whether it's the right solution or not. Okay. So Gaurav, here are my my honest feedback about the overall interview that has happened. Happened. Okay. So here are a few things that I feel positive. The first thing is your general communication skills are very good. Okay. You are able to explain whatever that you are experiences or wherever you have worked, etc. Right. So general articulation is very good. Okay. And second point, you are able you are quick you are able to grasp the problem very quickly. You are able to understand the things quite quickly. Okay. So and these are the two things which are very good. And you already doing internship for other things which will definitely add 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 up to the value. But coming to the things where you can improvise, I was just noting down as I should not miss out anything. Okay. First thing, Gauru, I feel like sometimes you are rushing. Uh, like you you are not even going for the example three to see. I understand the interview. There will be time crunch, correct? So, but uh, it so happens that you have to. If you are not trading some test cases itself, then you might miss out the problem as a whole. You may not understand it correctly, correct? So, my advice is, whenever you are in the first phase of the problem, which is the understanding phase, don't miss out any scenario because when coding again, you end up spending more time than this because you have not considered that case. So, read the problem thoroughly, okay? And second one is the technical articulation. There are two types of communication. one is general communication which you are good at another one is a technical communication so technical communication is where you need to explain a technical stuff to someone it, he could be another engineer or he could be someone who is not related to engineering for example your product manager qa devops etc they should also understand the technical problem that you are solving correct so that part you need to improvise a bit like the solution whatever you are explaining to me right i was able to understand to a level audience might everyone might have not understood So that one you need to improvise. Why I was saying this yesterday as well, because some interviewers like you, if you are applying for a companies which have a presence in multiple country, you may get an interviewer who is not from India. They may not understand your accent very clearly. Correct. So if you improvise on this explanation skill, they will be able to grasp the things very quickly. Okay. And another thing, the brute force approach, whatever you said, is good. My only advice is if you and any of the audience are saying the brute force approach, keep it very short, as you are also know. And interviewer is not expecting a brute force approach. Ninety nine percent of the time, they would expect a little more optimal than brute force. Correct. So why? Because if even if interviewer gets into discussion, don't involve too much of that discussion because your time is only wasted. Correct. So keep that discussion as short as possible. And last point, I think this is not like very big feedback. Maybe because of the time crunch. Uh, like you said, you got the that uh, time out error and uh, some compilation error. So my this is not big, very big problem considering fresher. But my advice is run the problem pro- program in the mind so that you know line by line what is happening so that you don't have to run and solve certain errors. It's not a very b- big problem. It happens to everyone, but in just in general feedback. Okay. Tell me, Gaurav, you have any other questions from the interview point of view? Yeah. Whatever feedback that I'm uh, giving, like- you think it is real, like applicable for you? Yes, sir. Uh, actually, uh, I I have uh, I have wasted my time in explaining the approach yeah. too much. Yes, yeah. Yeah. No, explaining and... approach is very essential. Uh, maybe little reduce and more focused, more clarity with whatever the time that you spend there. Yeah. Tell me, Gaur. Okay. Uh, apart from window sliding uh, approach, is there any any other approach? Oh, window sliding time? is the optimal approach that you can do. So substring is definitely, as you know, is not an optimal approach. Sliding window is an optimal yeah. approach, where with one iteration you can kind of go. Uh, there are a couple of ways where, as you have to find repetitively, right? Like if the string is okay. after forming one string, if that string contains again duplicates, so recursion you can follow. Recursion you can follow, yeah. or if there is, there are other approaches also which you can follow. Simplest way is the um, uh, use the help of a sliding window and the recursion. You should be able to achieve the solution for this. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions, Garo? No, I have no question. Okay. I'm done.
nice talking to you gaurav so audience here watch the video i think you have enjoyed it if you have solved the problem please mention if you solved both the problems please mention solution to both the problems me and gaurav both of will check and we'll try to help you if there is anywhere any problem thank you so much for watching catch you in next video